Hi everybody, Dive Grill Deb here. I wanted to talk a little bit today about how to get your bees out of the bee box when they come in the mail and into um, a mason jar. So I'm going to show you a technique that I've tried and um, it worked for me last time. Hopefully it'll work for you at home. I know uh, Nancy's mentioned to me um, some of the challenges that she's faced in trying to do this and so I've been poking around trying to figure it out and maybe I have it down. So you guys can be the judge of that. So I'm going to turn the camera so that we can both watch. Um, I don't have a camera assistant today, but so here's here's the uh, here's our working area. Now let me get, there we go to where everybody can see. So the bees come in a box in the mail that looks just like this, and you open them up and you take them out, and you end up with this is the shipping container that they come with. Now I usually order a full 40 bees um, in my deliveries because I think financially it makes the most sense. You'll notice that there's some wire screen over the top, a couple of rubber bands, and a staple on each end. They also have a little plug at the end with what has a hole in it and this hole is where they put the bees in when they get ready to ship them. At the very end of the block here is a little white bit of candy that they put in here and you can see a bit there where the bees have been chewing on it um, and this helps to give them something to eat. I, 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 I use this and I don't use this um, both. I, when it gets warm it tends to liquefy and then the bees will get it coated on the outside of them and that suffocates them and so then you'll lose your bees. So. What I, what I do, and I'll show you, this is another jar that I have set up with bees in it, is I tend to um, kind of put it at an angle, and you can see that this bit here has already been eaten up, so these bees have eaten it. And then after that's gone, then I've been putting a little bit of honey on the top, and uh, I, I get up every morning and I'll take some water and I'll kind of dab it on the top, and that'll help to... Uh, add some more water for the bees to go and drink. They'll, they'll drink quite a bit of water every day and, and because you want to keep them alive that this is really important. I do pull the little plug out of the back here and I've seen Nancy do this as well and I take that and, and put it in the slit in the screen and that helps to keep do a couple things is it opens up that gap so that when you reach in there with your reverse tongs um, it makes the opening a little easier to be able to grab the bees and um, but it helps to kind of keep that as a cap. So what I do, and I started thinking about it, and I thought, all right, well, here's what, we're, here's what we ought to consider, is how do you get them out? So I take the lid of the package and lay it over, and that kind of creates something to hold this down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these two staples and put it in, and um, and you can see that the old screen is in here with this this group of bees but um, I'm just gonna let that fall inside leave a rubber band on and then we're gonna cut the rubber band after we get the screen top on and let that slough off and then the bees will be free so in order to kinda keep uh, uniform pressure over the top and to keep them from escaping out of the edges of this once you pull these staples I take the cardboard lid and put over it now they're kind of like chickens where if they can get their head through a gap they're going to go and it's a one-way trip which is out. So I, I kind of think doing this works pretty good. Now if you use a flat screwdriver or something, um, my kitchen scissors has a tool on the end so I'm going to use that to pry. And this wood's pretty soft, it's pine, so it comes apart pretty easily. You can probably use a staple remover. Um, I'll take this and turn it around because I want to get both staples out. Now, we're going to take this and uh, set it inside the container like that. This is a piece of just screen that you can get from the hardware store. When you first start doing bee venom, the ranch will send you um, some of this, a couple sheets of this screen material to help get you started. And then I put put them in the mason jar with a band. You'll notice there's a slit right here. Now this is the fun bit. You reach in there with your tongs 
and you grab that rubber band and this can be a little bit tricky my my uh, I got my tongs set pretty light here to where the uh, Don't put a lot of pressure on the bees, and I might need to go get another pair that is a little bit lighter. And you can see some of them are already escaping, which is why you want to try to do this. Of course, now that I'm on camera, I'm having troubles doing it. But if you pull that rubber band up, there, I got a little twist on it. Pull this rubber band up through the hole. Take those kitchen scissors and clip it. And now it's going to release. Pull the rubber band out. Put the cap on. The bees are contained. What do you think about that? So far, it's working for me. Um, by having the white chunk on the bottom and leaving it inside of the shipping container, it'll keep it from running out the bottom and coating everybody so much. And they'll keep eating on this. Um, you'll notice and you can hear them they're buzzing pretty good they just came in from the mail and they're a little bit cool so they're trying to warm up a little bit and uh, get their circulation going again so there's a technique for how I'm doing it it's working for me maybe you can try this at home and how it work for you too good luck and get into bee venom therapy treat your infections um, and take the BVT and take the BVT challenge, the Bee Venom challenge for 2015. Um, I think all the Lyme patients should be considering this who are medically cleared. Uh, I think if we were all to take Bee Venom therapy and treat ourselves this way, we could end up with a much healthier community at the end of the year. So I hope you find this useful. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.